What's up YouTube? I'm back in the still standing garage and in this video I'm going to turn on the Monte or at least try to turn it on. I've been having issues turning it on because it has been sitting for a very long time. Now this motor here I've actually rebuilt it back in 2004. Okay. It probably doesn't even have 50 miles to the motor because after I rebuilt it, I focused on other things in, in my life and I just left it parked. I turned it on here and there once in a while. So uh, it is what it is. So right now I'm going to start focusing more on trying to tune the, the Monte over here, the motor, kind of how I did the Regal. The Regal, same thing. I had rebuilt the motor, drove it around probably for a good two years, solid. And then I parked it and then just recently, I think it was 2020, 2021 or something like that. I started working on it to make sure that it was running properly on the motor, the transmission, all that great stuff. And now the Regal drives real good. No problem. I turn it on. I drive it wherever I want and it's good to go. So pretty much I want to do the same thing with the, the Monte. Now, now that the majority of the outside of the Monte is done, uh, I can start focusing on the interior and the motor. But right now I want to focus more on the motor than I would on the interior because I want to make sure that I'm able to turn it on and move it around whenever I need to. So the Monte has a 305 5.0 V8. When I had the motor rebuilt, I had them install a 600 CFM four barrel Elvabra carburetor. So that's what's in there right now. It probably needs a rebuild because it's been sitting for so long. Uh, I did do a rebuild on the Regal's uh, four barrel carburetor as well. Uh, but this one, I, I know for sure it's going to need a rebuild. So I think the fuel pump needs to be replaced too. It's an Elderbrock uh, fuel pump. I don't remember how many gallons per hour it is. But I think that's what the problem is right now when trying to start it. The engine bay is really dirty. It has all the dust uh, left over from when I did the body work on the car, the whole sanding and all that. I've been blowing it out here and there. But, I mean, everything sticks on there. I do need to clean it up. I did have to replace the distributor a while back. Uh, because after sitting so long it just it wasn't turning on at all like anything I did it just didn't turn on and that distributor was pretty much ready to go so I did replace it a while back and I did put new um, spark plug wires I'm sure it needs a tune-up too I need to replace the spark plugs the oil all that great stuff but right now I just want to turn it on see what it's uh, looking like I haven't turned it on in a couple of months I think so let's pump some gas in it
Well, as you saw, the motor does need a lot of TLC. It turned off on me once on camera, but I was actually trying to create more content driving down the street, but I was having a lot of issues keeping it on. It kept backfiring, and also it wouldn't accelerate, so I know I need to work on the timing. I need to work on that. I do want to rebuild the carburetor. I already went ahead and I bought the carburetor rebuild kit. This is the part number right here, 1477. That's for these Performer carburetors. I bought a temporary fuel filter while, while I tuned the car. I am planning on buying a nice Elebrock uh, fuel line all the way down to the fuel pump. And then the carb cleaners right here to get that nice and clean. I did make a video on rebuilding one of these carburetors. This is a 600 CFM carburetor. This is a performer carburetor. The Rego has a 500 CFM performer carburetor. So I did uh, do a rebuild video on that. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, the kit is exactly the same part number. So I already made a video on that. Go check that out. I have to do pretty much everything that I did with the Rego, like I mentioned before. I need to do it to, to the Monte over here. Because it's the same thing. The car sat for so long. The motors are healthy. It's just they need a lot of TLC. Check out the videos on everything that I did on the Regal. The Regal is ready to go. I could drive it anywhere and it drives just fine. I don't have any issues with it at all. I am concentrating on getting the motor right on the Monte because the way that it looks on the outside, I'm able to drive it like that. I don't mind driving it with the, with the interior all busted like that. As you can see, the headliner over there, it's all falling apart. It's all good. So I don't mind driving it like this. As long as uh, the motor is nice and healthy, I'll drive it. So stay tuned for those upcoming videos on getting the motor right, getting it all cleaned up, making it look real nice. Let's keep it moving. G-Body still standing. Let's go. Oh.